You knew it was coming, didn't you? You knew this video was coming. As soon as Robert whips out the shorts for the first time, you know we gotta hit the essentials. You know what I'm saying. We spend a lot of time looking at the longs. They're not called longs, but we're, we'll call them longs for this context. We usually look at the longs, and now we're gonna look at the shorts. And I've honestly found the shorts really fun because it kind of fits with my content style. You know, I was pausing it every minute and then doing my own segment anyways. Now shorts are like a minute. Then I can give my whole review and it's like a great perfect thing. So here we are. We are reviewing the odd ones out shorts. Let's go. Oh yeah, we have a theme song, guys. You know what time it is. This time it's serious. Robert Eddie K, the odd ones out theme song. Sometimes I feel like the odd one out. No one knows what I'm talking about. So I just go and take a trip to Subway. Some things may keep me awake at night. Games my awful Okay, let's go. The odd ones out shorts. We guys, let's start with the most viewed of all time. The uh, apparently essential viewing. Day with unalive. Oh, wonderful day with unalive. Wow. Good morning, world. Hi, Dev. How's it going? You gotta keep your unalive clean. It's very important. Is he gonna exterminate the pan now? Okay. He on a live scrolls the gram too, homies. Don't get it twisted. <gasps> uh, fine. Well, time to go to work. <laughs> that is how it goes. That's how it goes. Listen, Unalive has to have fun too. I'm just kidding. This <laughs> this is an extremely bizarre concept. But hey, Unalive needs to get some pancakes too. You know, you can't fault the man or the woman or the thing or the they. Let's just say they or is it them? You can't fault on the line. <laughs> All right, they need their pancakes. They need to, I don't understand what the brushing of the teeth was. Like that seems a bit unnecessary. You don't need to smell good when you're visiting people, but maybe it's just a courtesy that they do. Either way, I think we're off to a strong start. I'm hesitant to give it an A because we're just getting started. So I'm gonna go with a B for bones. The end of tickety tockety. Really? Really, James? Unlikely. Good morning. Hello, you've made it. <laughs> nope, that's not going to work, James. He hit the uh, end. Are you talking to me? Who are you? I am the leprechaun that lives at the end of your four years. Jetsepticeye, page. Jetsepticeye. Wait, what do you mean at the end? There are no more TikToks, James. You've oh, no. seen every single. Impossible, You're impossible. Me I've seen every single thirst trap TikTok? Yep. Well, what about Ooh, the TikToks yikes. of people in their 40s using a filter that have zero likes? Yeah, I don't know why you watched all those. <laughs> Can I watch the TikTok lives? No one watches TikTok live. Yeah, that's true. Well, what now? You can finally start living in the real world. Yay. The real world? Is it going to be don't real him? Don't try and fight it, James. You're finally waking up. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Yes! That ended exactly how I wanted it to. Yes! That is exactly the ending I was hoping for. That was like a Matrix reference, <laughs> if you couldn't tell. Uh, waking up in your real body in a thing of liquid. All right, so our homie Jack Septic Eye on the on the play in the Leprechaun. I'm glad that Jack isn't uh, doesn't have too much pride to uh, <laughs> to play a Leprechaun character. But yeah, obviously, completely physically impossible. There will never be a person who can watch all the pieces of content on a platform like TikTok, but it's a nice abstract idea. James, if you watched every single one of them, what was your favorite Robert IDK TikTok, huh? Which one was it, huh? If you ain't following me on TikTok, you should do Whoa. it. You should do it. Follow me on TikTok, please. I'm also going to be posting some shorts, but I am this year really trying to post way more on TikTok. And so make sure you are following that page, okay? If you have the app, I need you to follow follow this page because we are going to start doing tickety tockety and you don't stop the rockety and it will be fun and I need you there. Thank you. That one got an A for abstract and Jack Septic Eye. <laughs> All I want for Christmas is my two front teeth. All right, let's check it out. All I want for Christmas is my two front teeth. Get up. 
Wow, the animation's beautiful. What? Oh, oh my gosh! No! <laughs> I'll never tell you where they are. Never! No! I know. But you of all people should know how horrible it is to disappoint a child. And you know I never disappoint the child. Oh my gosh! I only have my two friends. <laughs> that was James's inner meat canyon. James just let out his inner meat canyon. For real. I couldn't think of anything to say while watching that because I was just taking on... Like, that was a lot to process. That is not where I thought that was going. Yeah, very dark. Very dark. But I'm very impressed. <laughs> I gotta give that one an A for... Oh, snap. That was dark. <laughs> Hot water! Here we go. I'm sorry, guys, for doing this still. Look, boss, I'll get you your money, but I'm in some pretty hot water right now. Yeah, definitely. Look, boss, oh I'll get my you your gosh. money. That was awful. That was awful. A for awful. No, no, no. Wait, no. A for awful does not make sense. I'm just going to say that one's awful. It's great. It's great. It's great James content, but man, I don't want to think about lobsters uh, boiling alive. Rock, paper, Timmy. Rock, paper, Timmy, let's Timmy, go. Timmy, why do you always pick scissors for rock, paper, scissors? <laughs> I'm planning something. Okay. Timmy, your time is up. Okay. Oh, yeah? <gasps> well, I challenge you to a game of chance. Winner gets my soul. Wow, right. let's go. But it will be a game of my choosing. And I choose rock, rock paper, scissors. paper, scissors. Deal. Foolish, Timmy. You thought you could best me. I know your soul. He's gonna get him. Get him. Yes. Oh, oh, snap. Brilliant. Brilliant, Timmy. Brilliant. That was awesome. Man, this is such a different vibe. A, I'm giving that an A already. I'm already giving that an A. We should have to pay for shorts that good. We sh that, that, that should cost money, honestly. What a brilliant concept. Brilliant execution by our man, Timmy. And yeah, so Unalive was back again. Yeah, they thought they knew that Jane, or Timmy, sorry. <laughs> they were so sure Timmy was gonna do scissors because they know their whole soul and they know they do that every time. And so Timmy knew to ask for the game of chance and Unalive knew, thought he had the best shot of rock, paper, scissors because he knew <laughs> really good. A, awesome. And then he switched it up because he knew, he planned, he spent his whole life preparing for this day. Incredible. Life versus unlife. Man, James has a lot of dark ones, dark talks. Get a dog, they said. You'll be so much happier paying three times as much for dog food. <laughs> hey there, stranger. Circus. What do you want? The name's Life. And Yay! I wanted to meet my new neighbor. Neighbor? Yes, sir, definitely do. I move right next to you. Wow. What? You know what they say, the best things in life are free. So here you go, have some lemons. What am I supposed to do He's with this? He's gonna these? make lemonade All with the thing. All sorts of things. <laughs> you can make pie, cake, but most people no, make lemonade. No! Oh. He unalived well, the good thing lemons. I can make a whole lot more. Huh? <laughs> I love giving people lemons. That is a hobby that a lot of people can really get into. If you if you have yet to ever like get into lemon giving, I gotta recommend it. Giving lemons because people can like make lemonade with that stuff. You know, that's like something you can do with lemon. <laughs> Maybe uh, a few more videos without unalive would be sick, so that I don't have to keep saying unalive in this video. YouTube speech detection systems have probably picked like picked up and adapted to unalive as well. So <gasps> that one gets a D for unalive. And how I ironic our next video is a villain with dyslexia nice and james took the time to spell dyslexia wrong or did he sorry that was meant to mess with people who have it i'm sorry that was not okay that was that was it was funny come on okay all right <laughs> right in the heart actually my heart's on the left side 
I know! That's what I did! Wait. It's okay, man. Look, it happens to the best of us. Wait, what? Actually, my heart's on the left side. Wait. It's okay, man. Oh! Look, that was such a show. It was so hard for me to tell. Okay, he's used to his left hand looking like an L. And I'm sorry, I know I can't show you this. He's used to his left hand looking like an L. Or that's what everyone tells him. But he doesn't know what an L looks like because he's dyslexic. So he thought his right hand had <laughs> the... Oh my gosh. Man, I don't think any villain who is doing the hearts thing thinks that hard about their spelling. I think most of them are just like, yeah, let's just get it done, you know? I don't even think most people aim for the correct side. Hopefully this video did not give anyone else the knowledge they need to commit such an act. Yeah, doing that is, uh, no good. I'm gonna give that an L for the villain, and a W for the video! No! Alright, catfish. We've all experienced this. Just kidding. Only some people who have watched this video will have experienced this. I have. <laughs> All right, saying no to everyone. Ooh, catfish. Let's go. Okay, Wait you look a minute. nothing like your profile picture. Wait a minute. <laughs> oh my god. You look nothing like your profile picture. All right. A, A, that's so silly. That is so silly. <laughs> oh my gosh. Let's keep it real though, James. I would hope that you don't, you prefer that over the fish on top. Again, both are crazy. Don't, I mean, you don't want either of, I mean, you swiped right on a literal fish anyways, so I can live in this world with you for a second. At least have like a cute cat, you know, rather than a fish. A fish. Why would you prefer that? Anyways, I'm not going to think too hard about that. I'm going to give James the A because that was great. Also, I hated this mini game growing up. I hated playing this mini game. I got owned so many times. It is the absolute worst. I cannot stand it. Ant eater. Oh no. Our poor little aunt. I hope our aunt is okay. Robert. 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 Why? Turn it off. What? Turn it off. <sighs> I actually don't like ants. What? Is that right? But with a name like Anteater, everyone expects you to like eating ants. Oh. <laughs> Labels, man. I'm sorry about this. I understand. No! No! Don't do that! All right. I mean, an anteater's gotta eat. That's the only option. They have to go through it. Hey, don't start chatting up the ant. Like, let it be quick and painless, anteater. Don't strike up a conversation with the ant that you're about to eat. Guys, don't ever strike up a conversation with anything that you're about to eat, okay? That shouldn't ever be possible, by the way. That should never be a possible thing for you to do. So it should be a pretty easy thing to avoid. I want to say A for anteater, but C for cruel. <laughs> let's do, let's do that. Volcanoes. Oh man, let's go. <laughs> oh man. Sorry, I have a runny volcanoes. <laughs> he, he ain't getting it. He ain't getting it. <laughs> 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 Oh no. No! <laughs> Wow. The last thing you want next to your town is a volcano with a sense of humor. It doesn't get much worse than that. A volcano who is cracking jokes is a bad thing to have in your neighborhood. A message from the government of Bo. All right, guys, if you're digging this so far, you know what I'm about to say. Make sure you are subscribed to James. Him and his team did all the hard work on these videos. So make sure you are supporting the original creator. Link in the description and at the end of the video. Also, if you're enjoying this video so far, if you could boost the like button for me real quick. If you're watching on TV, just hit the up arrow. It'll pop right up. If you're on mobile, also easy. If you're on computer, also easy. It's easy. If you could boop it real quick, that'd be cool. Cool, let's keep it going. Tourist James. Cause yeah, that. that's not made out of gold. Yeah, pizza. That's not made out of pizza. pizza. That's not made out of pizza. Eiffel Tower. I feel disappointed. Why? I feel lied to. Oh, they're there, and you're not even French. 
What? What? I'm so confused by the- I, I clearly don't understand the Eiffel Tower one. I understood the first two. Guys, if you could clear that up for me in the comments, I would very much appreciate it. He- why does he feel disappointed in the Eiffel Tower? I guess that was just the goal, is like that character is, you know? Is the Eiffel Tower interesting? Oh! Is the problem that you can only get up to there? Is that the problem? Because you can't get like actually high up in the tower? The Eiffel Tower is so interesting. I, I need to see that thing. True. I always forget that the Eiffel Tower exists. Guys, why do I always forget that the Eiffel Tower exists? How do you even get onto the Eiffel Tower? Do they have like curved elevators? I'm so confused. How do you, how do you get up the Eiffel Tower? How to get up the Eiffel Tower. Eiffel Tower tickets explained. What? You can either go halfway up visiting the first and second floor, or you can keep going to the top from the, the second top? floor. Really? To go all the way up, you have to use Whoa. the elevator from the second floor. That and you'll is so need a sketchy. That includes access to the top. That is so sketchy. The four ticket options are stairs to the second floor. Whoa. Or stairs? Look at all those stairs. Floor, or stairs to the second floor. I didn't even and then see any of that. To the top, or elevator from the ground and then to the top. There is no option to take stairs all the way to the top. I the would cheapest hope not. option is to take the stairs not. just to the second floor. It takes about 10 to 30 minutes to climb up, and you'll have to take the stairs down as well. Oh my gosh. Guys, this terrifies me. I don't think I could ever do that with these fences. I don't think I could ever climb the Eiffel Tower or even go on the elevator. But I guess I know, like, everyone does it. But still, like, oh my gosh. I don't know if I could do that. The Eiffel Tower is so, so much bigger than I, I realized. I didn't even, you can't even see the stairs in the, ah! That's scary, dude. Anyways, why was James disappointed in that? That looked incredible and terrifying. All right, I'll give that video a B because it was uh, it was a it had funny zingers, but the Eiffel Tower put some respect on that. Two bright Christmas lights. Let's go. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. 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 Oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh no. The Christmas Jonathan, lights are too bright. Please think of the children. <laughs> Don't you see? I'm doing this for the children. I am the children. You'll have the holliest, jolliest house in the world. That can happen. That is something that you got to worry about. Well, no, not really. I think that's one of the best, like, Christmas movie iconic, like, things is, like, the one family who has so many lights, it, like, makes the power go out. Like, I feel like that's just a classic Christmas film moment. Like, is your Christmas film really a Christmas film if it ain't got that moment? I'm not sure, but probably not. All right, I'll give that one also a B for bright as heck. Let's go. Evil pet cow. Oh my gosh. Is this gonna make me sad? Is this gonna make me sad, James? Welcome in. Um, yeah, hi. hi. I'm looking for a new evil minion. Okay. Something not too big, preferably indoors, capable of striking fear into the hearts of humanity with good, a single good, good. glance. We want I that. got you, man. Follow me. So, oh, so he's at nope. Evil Petco. Nope. Get the nah. crack in. That's just a guy. <laughs> And what's this supposed to be? Oh my god! Oh no! Oh no! Huh? Huh? Oh, Cerberus, that's when he got it! Oh, oh yeah, we still have this runt left. He's too small to be scary, so we're wow. probably just gonna feed him to the Kraken. <gasps> no. Yeah, you gotta oh, get this Cerberus. You're a good little couple of boys. Yes, you are. Couple? That's three boys. <laughs> you good little couple of boys. Wow, we literally just had storytelling in reverse. That's why he had the Cerberus. I was just like, yeah, I guess that makes sense. He, that's the dog he would have. I didn't think that there was a backstory, but okay, that actually made me feel a lot better. I thought he was gonna talk about like evil things that like a pet store actually does or whatever. So no, this was just, this was more of a play on words. It's like evil pet. Guy. Anyways, man, I would have gone for the Kraken. If y'all ain't got it by now, then you just ain't getting it. Your boy, he likes the squid. Your boy likes the squid. So it'd be insane for me to rock this for like six years now and not be on team Kraken. You know, I gotta be. You can't, you can't cuddle a squid, which is very sad, but you can cuddle a muffin. I'm gonna give that one an A. That was fun. Reindeer! Oh boy, let's go!
Okay, here's your baby, Mrs. Donner. Yay! Yeah, let me see! Let me see! Aww. Does it have a red nose? Oh, no. Oh, no, it's hideous! Stinky, Stinky the clown. You're oh, oh, no! What did you do? <laughs> Wow. Wow. Okay. Okay. Another surprisingly dark one. If you don't understand that one, I am not going to explain it. You are too young. But if you do get it, uh, we got a dark one. Um, I don't know if I'm allowed to give that one an A. It was really, really good. Uh, <laughs> but I think we have to give it a deeper dark. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I want a rock. Are you ready to rock? Yes. Yes! Are you ready to roll? Yeah! Oh! They did it! That was some rock and roll. True rock and roll. I wish there was more of that in the world. A true rock and roll experience at our fingertips. Yeah, I don't think uh, I would want to uh, do a lot of moshing at a show like that. You know, I, I I think I prefer how it really is. I'ma keep it real. I think if we just had a rock do a little roll, that wouldn't be worth it. Even, like literally, even if they had a supernatural rock that did a roll and you could see magic happen in real life, it still would not be worth me driving out, paying for a ticket, paying for parking, and seeing it. I prefer how actual rock concerts are. I have no idea why I needed to clarify that. I really didn't, but I'm just letting you guys know my stance on the uh, excitement factor of rock concerts versus uh, a rock rolling. I'll give that one, one an A. It was <laughs> very goofy. These are all so different. I really enjoy. Just like, I have no idea what to expect when I'm watching these. Snake and tortoise. Snake, what are you looking at? Hmm. There's a funny looking snake in the water. That is really weird. That's just your reflection. Huh? No, I'm pretty sure I don't look like that. <laughs> you do! What? What? What a crazy concept. I, n I never would have thought of that concept. The land creatures and the water creatures staring at each other. Can you see a reflection from underwater? I guess you can, right? Can you? Okay, I don't know why I searched images. Should I have searched images? I guess you can, right? This is an underwater photo and it's got a reflection. Is this true? Am I crazy? I guess it does have a reflection, doesn't it? But it's almost like the reflection on top is better, right? Am I crazy? Cause this is like upside down. If you're looking from this, you have to go upside down to see it properly. Right, yes, yes, I'm okay, I'm not crazy. Sorry, I was doing some serious like mental stuff in my head there. Anyways, I'll give this an A for anyways. Yeah. That, that was uh, that was clever, very cl very clever. I like it. Even though, as a muffin lover, I am not on team reptiles. Why does anime do this? Let's go. This looks like some Scooby Doo. This is lo looking like my boy Fred. I want to watch anime. Yay! You made these cookies for me. Wow, that's so awesome. <laughs> I want to turn on captions. <laughs> Shut up. It was a oh. school project, idiot! It's not like I like you or anything. <laughs> That's the when worst. They match up. That's the worst! I, I can tell you exactly why. Because the subtitles are a proper translation of the Japanese words, but then the dubbed has to sound more like things that English speakers would say. So it's like, it's not gonna be the same. Yeah, is that the case with a lot of anime? If you're someone who puts on the dub, you pretty much can't have subtitles on because yeah, it's two different things. Yeah, it's different translations. But like, I think that the translation on the subtitles is a bit more literal, you know? Because they'll change things they say. Part of why anime does this as well, people. A little bit of TV magic info for you. You notice that anime characters, when they talk, it's like... They base it on the syllables of the Japanese speakers. But when they move it over to English speaking countries, the English is going to be, even if it's a direct translation, the English words are going to have different syllables, so it won't line up. So they rewrite the script a little bit to make sure that the what the lines they write mean the same thing as in Japanese, but also fit the mouths as best as possible. So sometimes you'll have shortened things or not direct translations because of that, because they don't 
don't want to break the immersion. They want to have it line up as, as best as they can. That is why, James, I just answered the question. Boom! A for anime, A for A. I feel pretty cool right now explaining that to y'all. I know some of y'all already knew that. Listen, listen, if you're an anime genius and you already knew that, you don't, you ain't gotta tell me. Robert, you're stupid! I knew that! And if you're obsessed with anime, you definitely don't talk like that. You'd be like, oh, jeez. Robert, did you know that, like, I'm sorry, this is so awkward, but, like, I already knew that. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> you'd either say like that or you'd say, like, oh, Robert, I totally knew that. Everyone knows that who watches anime. You're not special. You're not teaching people anything. So, yeah, you don't, don't do that, okay? Don't do that. Let's just, if you already knew, cool, good for you. For the people who didn't know, uh, that's interesting information. Okay, Adam and Ribs. Excuse me? Hey, Adam, can I show you something? Ribs? Uh, sure, God! Ah, ah, what are you doing? That's my rib! Ah! <gasps> She's perfect. I f officially did not even remotely understand that. Um, <laughs> I did not even remotely understand what I just saw. Is that part of like how it's written to have happened? I don't know. I'm not in a position to go and look that up. But hey, anyone who knows more about that than me, uh, you can let me know, I guess. I can't do any commentary on that one. But it, I think it was clever. I'm going to give it a B because it was, pro it was really good, but I didn't understand. I can't I can't rightfully give it an A if I didn't understand it some A's to your Q's This is an odd ones out Q&A. Let's go Welcome back guys. <laughs> Thank you so much for all your questions I'm going to be making multiple shorts answering these so keep those cues coming question. Cool. What was your best? This is gonna be a video moment. It's this one. I have not checked. No. Can you make a draw my life video? Why did you take the time to leave a comment instead of checking for yourself? Yeah. I'll save you the three seconds it would have taken to check. No, because my whole channel is a draw my life. Oh! Do you have any advice to give for a channel creators that have zero subscribers? My real answer is to make the content that you would enjoy watching and also reaching out to others in your community and build a relationship there. My joke answer cool. is that you should ask questions on other YouTubers Q&A videos oh, in the hopes no! that they'll read your question in front of no! their audience, giving you free exposure. But remember, the YouTuber will probably only pick deep and meaningful questions to answer. Wow, that got real meta. That is a pretty common comment that YouTubers get is, do you have any advice for starting a YouTube channel? And uh, yeah, I guess same thing as what James said, you know? If you're trying to do it, do something that's like something you would want to see. If you weren't you, you know what I, or wait, if you were you and you weren't making the YouTube video, you know what I'm saying? And also practice some skills, you know? Practice some things, get a handle on things. You know, I had to teach myself about lighting and video. And now my videos look ill. I wasn't just always like that, you know? I had to work on that over time. The colors, the editing, the editing. Basically, take up some skills as well, I would recommend. Because when you first start your channel, you probably won't be able to pay anyone to help you. So invest your time into learning some skills that will help. That one gets an A for Q. You know what I'm saying? A Q, an A for Q and A. And you know what else gets an A? A, that was a pretty good. That was that was a lot of fun. These shorts are like something totally different than what we're used to. These are like mini cartoon episodes. I'm really, really impressed. Some of them are surprisingly dark. Yeah, this was super fun and I really hope you enjoyed it. James always makes incredible stuff and please make sure you are subscribed to him, homies. Him and his team did all the hard work. We're just out here being goofy. Here's the whole playlist of Odd Ones Out review videos that I have done. If you've not seen them all, check them out. You'll have a really, really, really good time, I promise you. Or here's a video that YouTube thinks you will like. I will see you here. I will see you there. Peace out, homies. Bye.